Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we are here inside of Roblox Studio. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my top 5 favourite Roblox plugins. These plugins will help you guys with making Roblox games. If you are a developer, a game, like if you script games, or even if you design UIs for games too, all of these plugins that I show in today's video will help you guys. I've, decided, I've made this video to try and help every single type of Roblox developer over here. Um, so do not worry, these will not all be just like building plugins or they'll not all be like scripting plugins either um which is pretty cool guys and these plugins will help you guys increase the speed uh it uh what um the, the speed that you create your games at because they of course will make things a lot more efficient also guys they'll also allow you to go ahead and make your game just perform a lot better as um a lot of these can just make the game look a little bit nicer but there guys this is gonna be an awesome video that you all are not going to want to miss out on before i start anything off over here and show you guys all these working codes i first need to go in and tell you a little bit about rblxcodes.com which is my own roblox code website where you can find out game codes music codes and guides there is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out overall we give a code for over 300 roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game it will be there anyway guys i guess let's just just go ahead and go on into this video now so guys my first favorite plugin is going to be this one over here guys um this terrain plugin over here not gonna lie not too sure how to pronounce i yeah i'm not going to try and pronounce the first name over here um well the name of this but essentially guys if you're going and open this up right now we can go ahead and actually create some terrain with this but how exactly do we do this guys well what we do actually here is add a node and by adding a node we can place this down and what we need to do over here guys is actually just create triangles um with these nodes over here and by doing this we can simply go ahead and um create like we we can create like um paths and all that stuff and terrain underneath it guys which is pretty cool so yeah as you can see here i've got a few nodes over here right now guys and if in the triangles bit i click on the plus if you go ahead and select triangles over here you maybe you know one second guys let me quickly just move the base plate down a little bit so you can see it a bit better um yeah we could just move this down over here so yeah guys pretty much what you do with this triangle section you can now join up these nodes together um and actually create terrain in between them guys this is quite useful if you guys want to make um paths or quite a low poly terrain map guys um especially if you guys don't want to make it flat because of course you can raise these nodes up too let's say if i want to make like a really really weird the um like terrain thing over here as this because you've got some slanted bits over here we could probably do this as well another slanted bit over there which is actually very very useful when creating different layers for let's say a map um if your map has like some caves in it or some mountains this is very very useful especially guys if you want to go and keep to the low poly theme and you don't really want to use this normal um terrain editor that roblox comes with guys so that's my first favorite plugin in roblox which can definitely help you guys out if you are making um roblox maps and of course you guys can change the the um the material of course and also the color of this too guys to whatever you guys like as well so yeah guys that's my first favorite one let's move on to the next one right now so coming in at number two guys it's this archimedes plugin over here this one has definitely helped me out with a lot of games guys um i think i actually did go in and find this one off robuilder i remember he suggested it on his channel and ever since then i have been using this a ton guys it is so so useful when creating paths for a roblox game over here let me quickly explain to you guys so let's quick, quickly um right let me quickly use first of all just put this um base plate back up to normal over here right there we go and let me just quickly delete these okay guys what i'm going to go ahead and do right now um clear that output um is just quickly place down a part i'm going to quickly just color this a nice little path color over here guys that can um be okay of course it's not gonna look too nice guys but yeah, let's create a little path over here um and essentially guys you know that might be a bit too thick but yeah guys here we have a path right now we're now going to go ahead and launch the archimedes plugin over here and um, there it is guys and what we are going to go ahead and do is pretty much as you guys can see here um we can use this to now curve the path so if we click on render it will render this if you click on render all you guys can also make this um make circles in your game too guys and you can change the angle at which it does this so let's say i want to do it at 60 degrees as you guys can see it's a much much sharper bend over there and let's say i wanted to make it minus 60 degrees over here it would actually go in the opposite direction you may be wondering that's good and all but how can i make it actually like kind of curve upwards well you guys can actually select um the different 
axes so we can do a y axis over here and as you guys can see this one does render up a little bit um well you guys can kind of make stuff like that but also i am um, let me quickly find it i think it's z axis yeah here it is guys you can go in and render like bridges as well guys so if you are making bridges for your game too there is another good plugin that you guys can use especially if you guys are wanting to keep with a nice little cartoony style map but to be fair these paths can work with anything guys as of course you can change the material of this and honestly it's just so much help when creating roblox games guys honestly i've used this for all the roblox games that i've made recently um i actually have a roblox game coming out soon which i may show a little sneak peek of in today's video guys but yeah that's my second favorite plugin over here keep in mind all these plugins are linked down below in the description of today's video so make sure you guys go in and download them if any of them um actually if you show interest in any of these guys also if you are needing help with developing your own roblox games guys you can receive one-to-one -one support from me on page one okay guys anyway that is good but let's go ahead and move on into the next one right now so the next plugin that i really do suggest is this gap build one over here guys um this is another build one as this one is quite popular in the roblox developer community over here guys how exactly does this one work well let me quickly just delete all this um and let me quickly just close down this archimedes plugin right now um okay so what i want to go in and do is create a part right now guys um let me quickly just scale this up a little bit over here let's create another one right now and pretty much guys how does this one work well as you guys can see over here i've got a gap right now if we now launch this plugin the gap fill plugin as you guys can see we can go ahead and make a gap over here so pretty much if we go in and do this and this wait one minute guys so um from there and then from wait one minute um, yeah, from there to there, as you guys can see, we can fill this gap over here. We can also fill a gap over there, guys, um, too, which is really, really useful, guys. So it pretty much fills gaps between different um, parts. However, guys, you may, well, you definitely are probably not going to be using this for parts that are right next to each other because you would just surely join them together. However, guys, if you are actually making parts which are, which you maybe want to curve around the corner and don't really want to um, mess with having to make like a wedge part over here and trying to size that perfect well this plugin is definitely going to be good for you guys because it eliminates that use and we'll have to do that over there guys and as you can see we can now go and fill in that corner over there which is nice and simple and if this is a little bit too thick you guys can also just scale it back a little bit i guess um over there too and there it is guys a perfect little corner to the wall of there guys that one's definitely a really, really useful plugin that you guys can use for building right now guys so that's all like the buildings and stuff ones out the way now we're going to move on into scripting and ui ones the next plugin that i highly highly recommend is this auto scale light plugin what exactly does this one do guys well let me quickly explain so this one is for when you guys are making guis so let's just quickly create a screen gui over here and just make a frame um and pretty much guys let's just quickly size out this frame over here um so imagine that this is a menu over here guys this is a menu um let's add a text above here let's call this menu right now guys here we go menu over here um so this is our menu right now guys um and let me quickly just put this skill right over here as you guys can see it's a decent size on my screen however if i were to go in and test this with a different device over here what has happened well this is what happens guys if you do not scale your um your uis and yeah of course you guys can actually change the size because norm by default it actually does wait i don't know why this one's scale by default i've never had that before wait why is that I'm not gonna lie guys i've never had that before um anyway guys we got the offset that is um here for the size it's offset not scale and of course i could just change this to scale um however it would be a little bit of a hassle guys so what you can do is launch this unit conversion plugin under the auto scale light plugin over here and you can just simply click on scale over here and now that i've done that i'm also going to do with the text as well because we want to scale everything and let me quickly just try and test this again will this now um change shape as you guys can see it is pretty much the same on all devices over here guys we've got got no weird stuff over there as well as that guys you can also add different stuff inside here like um you are aspect ratio constraints if i just go ahead and make it like a random bunch of these over here um i might be able to show you guys it working over here but um yeah something like this guys okay so let's say i had a menu with tons of different like buttons in guys and let me quickly just test this on a device please say this kind of works over here um is it gonna work i mean yeah i need some like a certain type of menu to show you guys this working but essentially guys sometimes um if you guys have a lot of different elements inside your gui they may 
start to move around a little bit um in the in the frame and in the devices frame over here so what you can do is automatically create from here a ui aspect ratio constraint which pretty much um as you can see it's added a ui aspect ratio constraint over there which pretty much just um it, it, it just stops like the menu getting disrupted when it when new devices load it guys which is really really useful and this is what i use for all my guis it speeds it up a ton instead of you having to manually type in a skill um for position and size also guys they have added a text feature as well skill text um let's try this out so auto skill text over here guys so yeah in here you can go ahead and create a skill to this so max text size you can just go ahead and set this to 10 or something and as you guys can see it's went down to 10 over there um which is pretty cool guys so that allows you to um have text still be scaled which means depending on the resolution of different devices depends on like how big the text will be but you can set a max amount of scale for this to be guys because without this it could just be like an a massive amount of text um, a massive like font size which you don't really need that plugin is a really really useful one guys i'm guessing a lot of you probably do not know i have a clue what i'm talking about there but for you you um developers that do do a lot of stuff with uis um this is definitely one that you do need to go ahead and download so my next plugin guys this is personally my favorite plugin that i've shown in this video today that's mainly because i am mainly a roblox scripter i mean i do make my own maps but i'm i focus mainly on the scripting aspect but this is the tag editor plugin and what exactly is this guys well if we quickly hop into the game right over here um let's quickly create one minute let me quickly just delete all these wedges i don't know where they came from um let me quickly just create a part over here Wait, no i don't want to put a part i kind of just want a normal one um here it is block so let's say i have a part over here guys and if i'm wanting to go ahead and create a script that actually teleports you no let's say i want to create a script that kills you whenever you actually stand on one of these parts well i could actually create the same script and um, but put it underneath all of these different parts over here meaning i'd have like eight individual scripts and each, each one of these items which you can do however guys it's not really efficient what you can do though with this plugin is use the collection service and um, a bit easier and easier um, and make like tags easier guys over here so if i'm going to call this a kill brick tag um yeah a, a kill brick over here guys what i need to go in and do is select the part and then click on this kill brick thing over here guys um and pretty much yeah I, i'm just gonna select the tick over there guys and pretty much as you guys can see i have not yet selected these but if i click on this one this one's now under the kill brick tag so all i would now need is just one script that would loop through every single um every single part in this kill brick tag and i'd only have to use one script to go ahead and kill the player i'm going to show you guys a quick example of me and um, of how i've used this in a tutorial game which i have been showing you guys over here so i have used this for a coin collection service um uh, a coin collection like script and also a gem collection script over here guys in this so i'm going to show you guys roughly how i use this so pretty much what i've done i got the collection service which was that i also got the tag so tag service over here um uh, sorry guys i also got the tagged coins which i got the tagged coins bit in the collection service over here guys so if i quickly launch this plugin over here and here guys tag window um as you guys can see these ones are tagged under the coins tag and these ones are tagged under the gems tag over here guys so i only need one um script now to go ahead and deal with all these free coins over here um and essentially what you guys do for this you just loop through every tagged item in the tagged coin like table and then you just run your normal events underneath there guys which is really really useful and by far in my personal opinion the best plugin one of the best plugins for a roblox game developer especially script guys that's my personal favorite again all these will be linked down below in the description of today's video if you guys have any plugins that you think i may have missed into this video comment them comment them down below i may even make a part two to this video but that guys is going to be it for this video here i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did be sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out